Now to an ABC News exclusive interview with John Oates, half of the legendary duo known as Holland Oates. He has a new solo album, and he's also opening up about the fallout with his former creative partner, Daryl Hall. Yeah, Daryl Hall filed a, filed a lawsuit against Oates last year over their music catalog. And as John Oates told me, the dispute might jeopardize their future. Will Hall and Oates ever perform together again? Not from my point of view, but you need to ask Daryl how he feels about it. This morning, John Oates, half of the legendary rock duo known as Hall and Oates, famous for huge hits like Rich Girl. And you make my dreams come true. Sitting down opening up about his side of the legal battles he's currently fighting against his creative partner of over 50 years, Daryl Hall. Last year, Hall filed a lawsuit against Oates, alleging that Oates attempted to sell his share of their jointly owned company, Whole Oates Enterprises, without Hall's permission. Did you try to sell your half of the company or yes, your partner? Yes, I did. Yeah, I did. And let me explain to you why I did. When this whole situation got mired in legality and really complex, you know, legal wranglings, I got frustrated. And I said, you know what? Daryl has always wanted to be his own man. I said, I'm going to give him an opportunity to do that. If I sell my half, he can either, you know, he can do what he wants. And it was kind of ruining my life, to be honest with you. I couldn't. I, I wasn't happy. I said, well, I'll just step aside. And people do it all the time. I mean, you look, look at all the artists who are selling all their catalogs. It's pretty common. It's not, not that big a deal. But Daryl didn't like uh, the idea that I would sell to a certain third party. He said that the alleged plan set was, quote, a completely clandestine and bad faith move and called it, quote, the ultimate partnership betrayal. Mm. Do you see it that well, way? Well, that's strong words, huh? Yeah, very strong words. But do you see it that way? Not at all. I don't, because we've always looked at ourselves as individuals working together, and I felt like um, I had the right to do that, but, um, you know, he didn't. And I think as fans, you sit back and you go, oh, they made this incredible music, they must be in sync and have this bond, but you two hadn't worked together creatively in over 20 years. Right. That's right. The only thing we did together was play concerts where we just went out there and, and trotted out the hits. Before this lawsuit came about, were there any disagreements? No, not really. We never really had a lot of disagreements. But then again, we never really talked to each other very much after, you know, for the past 20 years. We'd show up at a show individually walk on stage, play, and then we go our separate ways. It really wasn't as, as tight as people might, you know, would like to imagine in their, you know, got kind of a fantasy imagination of, uh, you know, our relationship. Daryl Hall said, all I can say is people change and sometimes you don't really know someone like you thought you did. How do you respond to that? Oh, I guess he should have looked a little closer. Has he changed? In your opinion? I believe he has. Yes. I believe he's changed a lot. If Daryl Hall is watching right now, is there anything you want to say to him? Say, I love him like a brother. Well, I love you like a brother, if I'm talking to him directly. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but you know what? Brothers have disagreements. Families grow apart. I would say, I wish him the best. I hope that he has everything he wants in life and that he can pursue his dream of being a, a respected solo artist, which I believe is something that he's always wanted. Solo success is something Oates has also wanted. This week, releasing his eighth solo album titled Reunion. I'm getting ready for mine. I'm making ready for my reunion. You recorded this in Nashville. Yeah. I so do. Does being there and living in Nashville, did that influence your sound? Oh, so much. My move to Nashville has really changed everything for me. Because before I met Daryl Hall, I was a kind of a roots, acoustic guitar, blues, folk musician. When we met, we kind of combined our individual uh, influences and created something totally new. But 
that guy, that musician, was always there in the background, kind of idling, you know? And um, when I moved to Nashville, I tapped back into it, and it really gave me a, a new lease on my musical life. But this field is mine. What can fans expect from the new music? This is the first time I was able to really commit to a project and to, uh, to a future of creativity and music. The title track was inspired by my 100-year-old father, who told me he was going to reunite with mom, who's passed away years before. And when he said that to me, I thought of the word reunion, what it really means. I'm making ready for my reunion. And I said, reuniting. And I realized what was happening was I was reuniting with my musical self and my personal, myself as a man and as a musician. That's about as personal as it gets. It's, it's the most personal thing I've ever done. What do you want your legacy to be? I want my legacy to break down barriers. I'm looking to express myself honestly, to be a good father. I want to be a good husband. I want to be a good friend. And uh, I, want to, I want to enjoy my life. Well, I think you've accomplished all of that. Yeah, we're getting there. I mean, you know, you, you see these relationships, we listen to the music, and you say, wow, it must be great together, and you realize that it just hasn't been that way with these guys for a yeah. while. Yeah, sad to see it from music fan perspective coming mm -hmm. to something like this, but at least some new music on the way. And really nice to hear about his family and his ability to spend time with them in yeah. this life. That's what it all means, yep. right? It's all about family. And we reached out to Daryl Hall for comment, but he hasn't responded to ABC News. He did speak recently to Variety and said he was surprised when Oates tried to sell his share of the company. He went on to say, quote, it's unfortunate and untimely, but some things just change. People rewrite history and Harvard thought you had no idea about, end quote. Well, there is one thing that they do seem to agree on. They're probably not getting back together, but the music does not stop because John Oates' new album, Reunion, is out today. Definitely looking forward to that. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate it.